Magandang araw, tatay ko, teacher mo, muling nagbabalik para sa ating bagong diskusyon. Sa araw na to ay atin namang tatalakayin ang teoryang ibabahagi sa atin ni Morris Merleau-Ponte tungkol sa ating pananaw sa ating sarili. Halika, sabayan niyo ako. Physical body is an important part of the self, according to Morris Merleau-Ponte. Morris Merleau-Ponte's idea of self is an embodied subjectivity. The term embodied is a verb that means to give a body to or subjectivity in philosophy is the state of a subject, an entity that possesses conscious experiences such as perspectives, feelings, beliefs, and desires. Moreover, a subject an act upon or affects some other entity, which in philosophy is called the object. A subject, therefore, is something that exists, can act, and can cause real effects on an object. Maurice Merleau-Ponty believed that we know not to our intellect, but through our experience. Kung ano naman ano, dami tayong sinasabing matatalino, kulang naman sa karanasan. Pero daming may mga taong karanasan, ang galing pa, daig pa nila ang mga matatalino. Suma cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude, and whatsoever. Pero ang nakakalamang lang sa mga matatalino ay marunong silang mag-balance. Pero pag wala pa rin, pag wala ka pa rin karanasan, ayun, nahihirapan ka pa rin. Marunong kang mag-balance ng, ng academics o akademiko, pero ano yung pakikitungo natin sa kapwa? May karanasan ka bang? Pabuhay kagaya ng pamumuhay ng isang simpleng mamumayan na walang natapos, pero maraming kaibigan at maraming nakakasalamuhang pwede niyang masasabing, ayun, naging ganito ako kasi nang dahil sa mga taong nakapaligid sa atin. Kaya nga sabi nga na iba, kung sino pa yung pinakamataas na grado, ay sila pa yung hangal. Kung sino pa yung konti lang ang napag-aralan o hindi nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral, so to say, ay sila pa yung marunong makikitungo, makikipagkapwa-tao na walang barriers sa bawat sipan at sa bawat puso. According to Maurice Merleau-Ponty, he was a philosopher and an author. He emphasizing the body as the primary site of knowing the world. His ideal of self is an embodied subjectivity, which means a subject acts upon or affects some other entity, which in philosophy is called an object, therefore is something that exists, can take action, and can cause real effects. Maurice Merleau-Ponty rejected the Cartesian mind-body dualism and insisted that the mind and body are intrinsically connected. By emphasizing the primary of the body, in an experience, he also veered away from established notion that the center of consciousness is the mind. Ito yung talaga ang center ng consciousness natin, according to Thompson 2004. Morris Merleau-Ponty asserted that the human beings are embodied subjectivities and that the understanding of the self should begin from this fundamental fact. Maurice Merleau-Ponty added that the body is not a mere house where the mind resides. So, hindi lang to bahay kung saan makikita natin yung utak natin. Rather, it is through the lived experience of the body that you perceived are informed and interact with the world, according to Varela, Thompson, and Roch 2017. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, 
maganda ngayong naabot mo, maganda ngayong natapos mo, pero mahina ka naman sa pakikipaghalubilo sa kapwa tao. Ito nga yung minsan nasasakta din ako eh. Kasi nakapagtapos ako, parehas kapwa professional ko, tapos bigyang mag- malagyan ka ng komento, hindi lahat ng professional, hindi hangal ang pag-ugali, maraming hangal. Hindi lahat ng professional mabubuti ang ugali. Ganon. Pero karamihan sa mga professional, mahilig mag-alipus na nang nakakbaba sa kanya at even sa kanyang kapwa professional. Maurice Merleau-Ponty argued that the body is part of the mind and the mind is part of the body. That although there could be a stand, a lone mental faculty that perceives what the senses or the sense experiences, it needs the body to receive these experiences, act on its perceptions, and communicate with the external world. According to Maurice Morley Pont- Mary Lou Ponty, the body acts what the mind perceives as a unified one. Kaya sabi nga niya, he argued that the body is part of the mind and the mind is part of the body. Eh, subukan mo maglakad ng walang ulo. Uh, ano ka? Manananggal? Eh, subukan mo kaya maglakad na hindi ka disabled. Tapos wala ka lahat ilang katawan mo. And do you think paniniwala sa'yo? Kaya, I agree that the body is part of the mind and the mind is part of the body. Posible naman, na hindi mo naramdaman kung ano yung mga kirot at di na siyang naramdaman ng iyong katawan at yun si neurons ang tumutulong papunta kay man para ma-identify at malocate natin kung saan talaga yung hapding kirot at ating naramdaman. Pero pag nakaramdam ka ng hapdi at kirot, dahil niwalayan ka na yung someone special, uh oh that's another story. Focus sa iyo, focus muna tayo sa pag-aaral. Paklasin muna natin yung mga bagay-bagay na siyang nakakatulong din sa ating paglalakbay tungo sa ating hinaharap sa buhay. Kilanan natin maiging ating sarili upang sa gayoy magkakaroon tayo ng katuturan at may bahagi din natin sa mga taong nangangailangan ng ating presensya. Ito po si tatay ko, teacher mo. Huling nagsasabing maraming salamat sa iyong pakikinig at sa panunood ng ating video recording. Sana'y like mo rin, i-share upang marami din makakaalam sa ating mga discussion. Ingat po parati. Bye bye for now. See you in our next discussion. This is Tatay Ko, Teacher Mo. We love you all. I love you all. Bye bye for now.